Yes, I'm recording. <laughs> oh, I did not know that. Hey, you. I'm recording on a Canon G7X. What it is with you, man? It's your girl Tita going on back with another goddamn video, man. You already know about Thomas Chester. The fuck is that nigga saying? Who is that? There you go. What can we talk about? Talk about how our life gonna go within a year. I'm gonna tell you something. All right. We getting up out this new joint. Where we going? Shit, we finna stop working. They talking about. We finna stop. Yeah, we ain't gonna work no more. We ain't gonna work no more. No. Nope. All we right. Be our own boss. So, me and my wife have been discussing that we are getting emotionally, physically depressed in our jobs. <laughs> um, I definitely feel like it's second shift and like how the summer is coming up. It's, it's like a lot, you can overthink a lot. And um, I believe it, it really isn't the job. I believe it's second shift. Second shift is is between so much like um, you can't really do anything early and you can't do anything late because most of the shit doesn't open and then most of the shit already is closed between the times that we work. I work from down there twelve thirty to nine thirty. She works as well twelve thirty to nine thirty. So it's like, what can you do between that time? You it's, it's either you have to do shit early or you have to do shit late or you have to do all your shit on the weekend. Um, it's stuff that, like I said, is making her and I, if she wants to agree, she is also right here on the phone. All right, explain your little situation. Hey, uh, my bonnet on, but whatever. They, 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 can't, they can't see you, they can't see you. Oh, okay. Well, with my situation, I don't have a problem with my job. Well, it's not, I, I do have a problem with my job. It's not the people. It's not. It's not. You know, I work with lovely people. The pay is amazing, but I just don't like what I do. Um, I'm not happy with doing it. And a lot of people are like, well, you know, I mean, the pay, think about how much you make. And it's like, I feel like I'm trying to sacrifice my mental health because of how much I get paid. And that's not fair to me because mentally I come home drained as hell just so I can be like, oh, I make a good amount of money, and it's like, with all this money I'm making, with all these bills I got, it's like, damn, like, what is this going to? Like, I gotta pay bills, and you don't I'm not see happy with what I do. Like, I'd rather be paying my bills and at least be like, you know what, I deserve that. I'm happy with what I do at the end of the day, and my bills are paid, but I'm just like, I gotta sacrifice this shit just so my bills could be paid, if that makes sense. No, it does. So, it's just like, like I said, I, I love I love the people who I work with, but I just don't like what I do. It's not for me. I've just come to the conclusion that when it comes to us, we just not meant to work for nobody. That is definitely true. And I feel like, um, what is that shit called? Um, piggybacking on what you was talking about. I feel like what you're trying to say is you're sacrificing your happiness to fulfill something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, Just so my bills could be paid. Yeah, technically. Even though we really, I don't know where these bills came from, but right when we got grown, when, right when we got grown, we just started having bills and shit. So, um, I mean, I'm going to just put this as a video. Hopefully we can look back at this video um, saying like, that was the day that you and I made a difference to not work for nobody else but work for ourselves, you know? It's gonna happen. It's just gonna take some time, but it's gonna come with some sacrifices, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm tired of feeling like this because when you, it's like, 
when you start feeling like this now it get worse yeah you know now it's like well with me my situation is new because i'm like you know i just started this job but at the same time it's kind of bad i've only been on that job for what like three months and i three. already feel like this it's not good no not at all that, that means it's, not good. it's it's not meant to be it's not meant to be there longer than what you have to be exactly like it's either you go ahead get off your ass and get this shit cracking or you just continue this cycle and try to find another job that's like that's doing the same pay but you have to go through that same cycle over and over again going through getting used to clocking in at that place clocking it out that place it's so much so it's like what can you do in order for you to like get you know your your dream started like what what can you really do like what what is the number one thing you could really do to start whatever you want to start i think the first thing that i need to do is minimize my bills like i need to get everything paid off so i can start investing more into you know like buying a new camera buying a new camera list because it's like now i can't do that because all my money is really going to medical bills student loans i feel like once i'm done with my medical bills i mean it's still gonna be a lot but i'm still gonna put a little bit more effort but i'm trying to put more money down on my car because when i get done with my car note that's that's a 250 i can have if i can at least put down 500 a month on my car i could be done with my car in like a year Mm-hmm. Because I did a five year contract, but if I put five hundred dollars down a month, I could be done with my car in a year. And that's the goal, but I wanna get down with my medical bills first. But even with my medical bills, you know, they taking one fifty out right now. That one fifty could go a long way. I could buy some fucking lights. I could buy all type of shit that can help my photography out. But it's just like I just gotta minimize get my bills to be as low as possible. Once I get that done, I can literally start investing in what I need to do. That's why I tell myself, you know, I get myself a year. And then that year, I'm going to just be like, trying to get all the bills paid, then start just stacking up and saving as much as I possibly can. And once I just get done paying the bills, I'll be just straight. I'll have more money to invest, you know. So that I buy, and I always know, um, I already know I want to vlog in camera. I want a new camera lens. Mm-hmm. I want to, um, like, you know, I know I want, like, special LED lights because I like different colors and backgrounds and stuff. And then, um, what else I want? I want a tripod. Shoot. I need a computer. Like, I need a lot of stuff. So, that comes with, you know, saving. But I'm going to get there. Yeah, we both going to get there. Absolutely. Yeah, sometimes you just got to, like, how I think about it is when it's an opportunity that you see you like you have to take it like such as I how I just like literally like dipped into my savings account just to you know get this camera I feel like instead of buying shoes which I was gonna do I could literally just buy the camera that I've been wanting for like a fucking year or two yeah. you know what I'm saying so it's like I love the camera mind you it's like I'm, I'm definitely gonna use this more to my capability than just like not doing anything with it or you know just having to sit here collecting dust or whatever like i'm definitely going to use this keep my dslr here and just keep working consistently like i don't know i just really want to um continue my life to be happy i mean i know like you said like everybody says it's struggles you have to like just work through it you know get your bills paid and just have like a cushion so you'll be comfortable within them time you know within that time being like you are gonna have that type of rough patch um uh maybe it is gonna be slow you know when it's like the photography or whatever hey like, but you'll be still comfortable that one month that is like it's not booming as much but it's gonna boom soon though you know what i'm saying so it's like how the youtube thing go like you you gotta have some type of like savings 
in order for you to continue to do what you want to do as soon as like because you're going to go viral one of these days is it going to be the t is it going to be today is it going to be tomorrow we don't know you just got to keep like being consistent like the more consistency you have the more you can like you know the more people you bring to your channel the more you know money you'll make the more people that support you and see like oh he's really growing like you know what i'm saying so um i like these little talks you know what i'm saying a little little talk to like really just break everything down of what's going on in our lives and stuff like that um right now i really want to like continue doing some type of thing like this like a podcast type of situation or just like like a 10 minute little talk like you know just to let everything out like if there's anywhere you can let it out you can let it out right here and like just you know it's like a personal diary basically talk your shit. you know what i'm saying talk your shit that's what the series is gonna be called talk your shit you know what i'm saying maybe we'll have another topic to talk about um i don't know I mean, it's a lot to talk about, but like, I mean, what what can we talk about? But if you guys like this video, you know what I'm saying? I just been posting reactions and shit. Just got done editing a reaction about to upload this motherfucker real soon. If you guys like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, it's your homie, Build a Goat, and. T and a Goat. T and a Goat, you know what I'm saying, man? Y'all go ahead. Uh, might have to make her a little YouTube channel. We've been talking about that for a grip grip anyway, but I mean, it is what it is. So it's showing me she may be able to go. I'm loving this fucking camera too. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Peace. Gang.